you guys in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how quick and easy it is to download free fonts for you to use in Design Space for all of your projects. So to do this we're just going to Google free fonts and a few different websites will come up that offer them. My go-to is Defont. Um, I download so many from here they never fail me and we will do a script font today. Um, I use these often. I just love the way it looks. I use these on a lot of my projects. So let's find one that I don't currently have. Um, I don't believe I have this one. Let's do this one. That's one of my daughter's names. We're just going to hit download. Now we're going to go to my download drop down bar and click on the file. Click on fonts. Click on the font file and click install font. And there it is. That's how easy it is to save it to my computer. I am doing this all on my MacBook Pro. If you are using a different computer, it might be um, a little bit different, but it should still be just as easy. So now we're going to go back to design space. What I've noticed is that if you already have design space open and then you download a font, more than likely it is not going to come up in your font selections. You see, it doesn't mean that you did anything wrong. Um, to fix this, you just have to exit your design space, reopen, and now the font should be available for us to use. I'm not sure why it does that, but in the beginning I thought I was doing something wrong. It turns out I just need to refresh my design space. So here we are, here's the font. Oops, spelling my name wrong. Okay, I just want to show you guys something really quick. Okay, so you see I typed out my name and as you can see, the letters are spaced apart. I personally do not like how that looks. Um, when you're writing in cursive, you connect every letter, correct? So you would want um, to make sure the letters are connected on any of your projects, especially ones that you are selling. So in order to do that, you just use the letter space tool right here you just hit it as many times as you need for these letters to connect. Now I'm going to stop right there because the A and the R are connected where I want them to. If I were to keep hitting the um, down arrow for the letter space, as you can see, look at the A and the R. They're not lining up now. So to fix that, let's go back to where I liked the spacing. And now we're just going to come over here and hit ungroup. And then we'll just manually put them together where we like the spacing. I'm sorry guys, I have been having so many issues with my internet. I'm not sure right now if it's internet or the Cricut design space, but hopefully it'll let me get through this tutorial because I have been dying to make this for you guys for a few weeks now. Just hit cancel and see what happens. Okay, so now that they're spaced together properly, now that they're spaced together properly, if I were to hit make it now and cut this in vinyl, as you can see over here, this is how many different cuts it's gonna make. And what I mean by that is the L the part of the L that's connected to the A, it'll still cut. So you'll have a piece of the L coming out of the A, um, a piece of the R coming out of the Y, the I, I'm sorry, and you don't want that. So in order to fix that and make it cut as one cut, you highlight all of it and you're going to hit weld. Now, as you can see, it shows it's only one cut. And that is how easy and quick it is to download fonts um, for free. I didn't know personally when I started that that was possible. I spent a lot of time purchasing fonts that I honestly don't even use. So this is a great alternative to save some money and give you more options in your projects. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thanks so much for watching.